as many of you may know or may not know, a couple days ago, there was a shooting that occurred at a Walmart in Mississippi. Now, this is coming right off of the shooting that happened at the Gilroy Garlic Festival out in Gilroy, California. And then literally like the next day, there was a shooting early in the morning in Mississippi at a Walmart. We didn't know all the details. We just knew that people had got shot and some people were killed, but we didn't know who the suspect was. At this point and going forward, I don't think it's safe that we jump to conclusions and automatically assume that the shooter in these situations is going to automatically always going to be a white person because sometimes we'll jump the gun and we'll end up being wrong, such as situations like this. That's why I don't quickly jump to say or quickly do these type of videos until I have an identity first, because sometimes people can be wrong. And they'll automatically assume like I've had to retract stories in the past because of that. And that's said, you know what? If a good if you are a good journalist, you will always wait till all the facts come out and then you go forward with your story and give your facts and then you give your opinions and then you wrap it up. So that's what I have to do going forward with this. And I'm telling this to my subscribers that we can't always assume that it's always going to be the usual. Now, one thing that is safe to say is that I don't think we've come across any mass shooters as far as school shootings go involving a black person if it does involve a black person it happens at a store setting or a business setting or maybe a job setting where they once work and that's actually kind of the case with this individual right here so this man's name is martez terrell abram and he's 39 years old and he opened fire and fought inside of a walmart that he used to work at where he killed the manager and an employee. The manager, I believe, was white and the man and his employee was black. And he said the reason and they're saying that the reason he did it is because he was suspended from his job. So I'm saying, oh, it's one of those disgruntled employee type of things. But then they said the reason as to why he was suspended. They said he was suspended because he brought a knife to work. Let me say that again. He got suspended because he brought a knife to work. My question is. Why would you bring something that would be considered a weapon into a place where you're working? And clearly he did a bad job of hiding it because they found it. And that's why he got suspended. And he probably felt he got did wrong and he came back and he killed the manager and one of the employees. Now, the manager is probably the one that suspended him most likely. And maybe the employee was trying to like stop him or something like that. And he maybe have gotten caught in the crossfire and he killed him. I'm not sure of the details. That's why we are about to read this article. It says two people who were shot dead in a Walmart in Mississippi on Tuesday had been identified along with the gunman, a disgruntled employee who had been suspended a day after for bringing a knife to work. Martez Terrell Abram, age 39, of South Haven, opened fire on Tuesday at 6.40 a.m. on the Walmart where he worked. He killed manager Anthony Brown, age 40, and a longtime employee, Brandon Gale, age 38. It is not clear if they were targeted or shot randomly. One was killed inside and the other was killed inside. I don't know why they wrote it like that. They might as well just say they were both killed inside, unless they meant to say one was killed outside. Abram was shot by police, but it is but is in the hospital and is expected to recover. He is now facing two counts of murder. It was initially reported that Abram had been suspended for pulling a knife on a customer the day before. But Walmart has since clarified he instead brought a knife to work and showed it to a colleague. That was not the smartest thing to do. Like if he didn't show it, then we probably wouldn't be having this discussion right now. According to police, he did not threaten anyone with the knife, but someone reported him for bringing it to work. See, that's where he messed up. He should have not pulled it out even to show somebody the knife. If he was going to show that knife to somebody, he should have did it maybe on his break outside of the building, not in the building while you're on the clock. Uh, let's see here. It says he had no criminal history whatsoever. Sorry about that. I had to pause it right quick. Back to the story. It said he had no criminal history whatsoever before Tuesday's shooting. DeSoto County District Attorney John Champion said 
The shooting began at around 6.40 a.m. on Tuesday when multiple people who were outside the 24-hour store called 911 reporting an active shooter. Employees held hands in the parking lot and prayed afterwards. There were 60 people inside the store when the shooting began, and police also received reports that the suspect has set a fire in the building. This guy's just off the chain because of something he did, but I'm going to talk about that toward the end. When they arrived, they found the suspect in the parking lot. One of the police officers was shot in the chest but was saved by his bulletproof vest. Okay, I'm going to just say it like this, and that'll be it. To everyone in the comment section right now, don't even bother trying to come in and defend this man. Don't even try to come in and try to uh, say this, that, and the third. He got suspended because of his own stupidity. One, he brought a knife to work. Two, he showed it while on the clock. Somebody saw him basically, you know, snitched on him. And then he got suspended and he's going to get upset because of his own ignorance. Am I supposed to feel some type of way for that? Or am I supposed to feel bad for him? And then and, and all he got was suspended. It's not like he got terminated or fired. I'm sure they would could have negotiated a way to bring him back in after the suspension period was over. But at the end of the day, it was his own fault for why he got suspended. And he was the one that took it upon himself to go and get a gun and come back to his place of employment the next day and shoot and kill two people that worked there, two of his um, co-workers. But the way that he the way you would think of it going into this is that you would think that he just got messed with or somebody did something to him and he said something and they didn't believe him and they just decided to suspend him and not take his side of the story. But that wasn't the case. So, no, I cannot say I feel anything. I can't feel bad for this. I can't feel I cannot feel bad for him in the year 2019. We are going to play this game called accountability. He must face the consequences for his actions. I don't care that he looks like me. I know that I would not be dumb enough to bring a knife to work and show it off while I'm on the clock. Like I said, if he was going to do that, he could have did that on his break off of the grounds of his place of employment. And I wonder what kind of knife that he that he brought. Was it a pocket knife? It had to be. I, w I don't think he would be dumb enough. Well, he was dumb enough to bring it and show it on, on the ground. So he might have. But I don't think he's that dumb to bring like a butcher knife or anything like that. And like, why would you so so uh ready to show this knife? You know what you could have did? You could have, I don't know, took a picture of the knife and showed the person the picture of you holding the knife or just a picture of the knife. But, you know. For some reason, in this day and age, common sense is not so common, even amongst us. So now you now you don't have a job. You definitely will not be going back to work there because you definitely are going to jail. Like you got two counts of murder on your hands and you took out two people. You killed two people because of your own ignorance. I do not feel anything for this guy whatsoever and i don't like speaking for people but i'm gonna speak for y'all right now y'all shouldn't either unless you support ignorance y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments like share subscribe i'll talk to you in the next one